Okay, so I didn't want to put my ring light on because I don't want to hurt my little puppy's eyes. I just want to introduce you guys to the newest member of the fam. This is Winston. <laughs> Say hi, Winston. He looks like an actual teddy bear. This is a mini golden doodle and I'm obsessed with him and I love him. Oh, oh. He's usually not this gentle. That's a thumbnail. Winston, don't you dare pee. <gasps> Hi, Winston. Look. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. So today's video is a little bit of a story time and it's just a testimony that I hope can encourage you in the waiting season that you may be going through. So we're just gonna get right into it. And I just wanna tell you guys that God's timing is truly perfect even if it does not seem like it at all. So I went to school to be a occupational therapy assistant and once I got my license, I applied to different jobs. I really wanted to work with kids and I was just really struggling to get a job. The place that I wanted to work at, I put my resume in. I applied, that was the first place that I applied to was a location that I really wanted to get the job at. And a year went by of me trying to look for different jobs with children and trying to get something but I wasn't getting anything and the job that I was currently at at the time was just not good for my mental health and I just was not wanting to go to work anymore like I was like god please please remove me from this place please open another door and so from the time that I got my license to the time that I got a job it had been a year of me trying and trying to get a job and going on different interviews, applying to different places. I really felt like maybe I'm not meant to do this. I was really like getting a little bit discouraged. So year goes by, I'm sitting in my car and I get a phone call from a random number and I answer it and the person on the phone is like, hey, is this Brenda? Like, we have your resume here and we really want you to come in for an interview. And mind you, this is the place that I originally first applied for when I first got my license. This was the place that I really wanted to get a job at because it's with children, it's in a school, it was just perfect for me and it was like closer to my house. So I was like, please, I really hope that I get this job. And then a year later, I get a phone call and they sounded like they were definitely going to hire me. So it was just like a really mind blowing, crazy experience. And I'm pretty sure I cried after I got off the phone because I was like, wow. It was all just like, boom, in a matter of like seconds, God's timing happened. And it was like, whoa. So that happened. And so I went through the whole like orientation process and all the paperwork and everything. And so I finally start my new job and I've been there for about a month now. And so the week that I start, there's also a student that is starting. She's also going for occupational therapy. And we start the same week and God was just moving very powerfully. Like the first day that I came in, I was talking to the tech guy on the phone about what my password was so he could help me. And my password was a scripture and it was just her in the room and she heard it. And I didn't really know what she thought because I didn't know if she like, you know, knew about scripture. So that happened. And then the next day I come in and she's like, hey, do you know? And we have a mutual friend in common. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And she was like, do you go to Grace Church? And I was like, yes, I do. I've been going there like my whole life. I recently got saved. And she was like, I go there too. And I was like, what? That's so crazy. Like such a small world. And so we have a girls group that we have through our church, Grace. And it's called Sisters in Grace. And it's a really amazing group. It's just a real and raw and honest community of girls that 
need grace from God and from each other and it's just like a judgmental free group of girls who are just trying to get through life and walk out their faith walk. We're just supporting each other on the way and it's just a really beautiful group so shout out to Sisters in Grace. And if you want information about Sisters in Grace message me on Instagram. I'm gonna get some more information out there because I really do want to reach any girls who feel like they are alone. You're not. Anyways, so I was like, I need to ask her to come to Sisters in Grace. So I was like, hey girl, like, would you wanna come to Sisters in Grace? It's like a, just a girls group where like, we just get together and like read the Bible and we just hang out and it's a really nice group of girls and she was like oh my gosh I've been praying for Christian girlfriends because I haven't had any and my last like friendships have been really rough and I've literally been praying for like a Christian group of girlfriends and I was like oh wow like okay god like that's so cool so the week goes on and it comes to the day when we have the group so she comes to my house we carpool together and everything and she goes to the group and then afterwards she's like i love that so much like she was just so happy that she went to the group and i could just tell that like that was exactly where she needed to be because like there's just a lot of god wings happening like she knew my sister from like a while ago and then she knew the leader's dad because he's like friends with her boyfriend like it was just a bunch of like random god winks that like god was in this place and like orchestrating her steps and like he knew that she had to be there so i was literally mind blown by like all of this and i was like whoa this is crazy and so i get home and i'm like if I started any earlier or any later, because she's not at the job site for a long time, it's like a couple of weeks. I was like, if I started any sooner or later, I probably wouldn't have met her. And how crazy is it that the same exact week that I started my new job is the same exact week that she started her field work. So, there I was in God's waiting room for a year for a job and I had no idea what he was doing. And that is truly a testimony to the verse, Proverbs 3 verse 5, and it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. So what you're in the waiting room for, you have no idea what God is orchestrating behind the scenes. God was getting her ready and aligning her steps so that at the perfect time we could meet and so that we can grow a friendship and so that she can be placed with people that love the Lord that she can grow with. So like also it's not all about you in the waiting season that you're in. God is getting the other people prepared. He's orchestrating these steps of the other people. He's protecting you from dangerous steps that could happen if you go too soon so that whole experience was just truly so mind-blowing and I hope that this can speak into any waiting season that you're in it could be for a job it can be for a relationship it can be for a moving situation whatever the case may be if you're in the waiting room just know that it is purposeful. Your waiting is not in vain and that God is moving all the time. God doesn't slumber or sleep. So I just want to read a verse to you really quick and it's a psalm and it's from Psalm verse 121. So this is Psalm 121 verse 3 and 4. And it says, He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. God isn't sleeping on you. He is awake and he's watching over you. And so you can trust the fact that even when it feels like God's not working, God is constantly working and writing your story and he's doing it right now. He's busy working on your life story right now. He's just a God who really is about the details 
and about the intimacy and the relationship with you. And I just want you guys to remember that, that God is working when you don't feel it, when you don't see it. God is constantly working on your behalf and he's constantly working out his plan. So just trust in God's character and in the waiting season that it's for a reason and it's for a purpose. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you guys have an amazing and blessed and beautiful day.